you see right here, that's that's the ramp to get off I-95. And you gotta do that turn. I am going to start a stopwatch and I'm gonna see how long it takes that truck to get off this exit of I-95. Okay, and this is the truck I was tracking. Four minutes and 15 seconds is what it took to get off that, that ramp. Then you gotta hit all these lights. That's gonna add another 25 minutes, 30 minutes of travel time. Then you gotta get back on the highway. Usually, when I get that off this ramp after a Phillies game, it's usually two to three cars deep. That's what that's what usually happens here at like 10 o'clock at night. Maybe it gets to where the truck is during regular rush hour. Oh, I appreciate that. How long have you been sitting in traffic? At, at, 10 minutes? You okay? You doing all right? All right, just keep your head up. It'll be over soon. I'm doing trivia at Green Rock Tavern July 12th. I'll see you. So this is traffic going north on Aramingo Avenue. I'll catch up to you. It's all on. Yeah. Yeah. I love you too. How long have you guys been in traffic? Okay. Half hour. Yeah. Uh, keep up the upbeat spirit. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how you do it. Kamikaze style. Let's go. It's his world, we're just living in it. If I could list the most reckless drivers in the world, uh, one would be uninsured vehicleists in Philadelphia. Number one, number two, tow truck drivers. Number three, me going the wrong way on a scooter. So here's the thing about my neighborhood in Bridesburg. There are only two streets that you can really use to get in Bridesburg. One is Aramingo Avenue, and the other street is Richmond Street. We're going to check on Richmond Street. but So let's say you're a guy, you work in Center City, you live in Bridesburg. You probably should be taking SEPTA um, right now. I know SEPTA is pretty awful, but if you live in this neighborhood and you work in Center City, I would definitely maybe check out the Regional Rail. Regional Rail, it's clean, convenient, fast, and safe. Check out Regional Rail. Not a sponsor, I'm just trying to free up this traffic. This is the Allegheny exit. But well, actually, it's Westmoreland Street here. So this is the ramp to get off the highway.
the traffic is backed up all the way to Center City, Philadelphia. So it's just gridlock traffic just to get anywhere to get to Northeast. And then, and up there, that's High 95 getting to Daramingo. So no matter which way you go, it's backed up. I got you, I got you, you're good, you're good, thank you. I appreciate that. Now a lot of people are coming down off the Allegheny exit and they're going this way towards Allegheny Avenue. And technically they're driving on the shoulder, but that's how we do it all the time on this ramp. Used to be two lanes. Here we are! Yeah, so this jerk off, he's going to dart to do the double cut, right? Yeah, he's definitely he's going to he's going to cut in front of this school bus, right? Right? Look at that. Ah, oh. too good to wait. That's why his car has no bumper. But something like that's going to cause an accident, and then what's going to happen? This gets all backed up. Just because Jimmy couldn't wait at a red light. And this is the entrance going 95 south on Allegheny Avenue. The traffic on Allegheny Avenue usually sucks around this time of day, uh, but it's usually not backed up this far. So we're at Allegheny. Go ahead, friend. Yeah, we're at Allegheny and Belgrade, and that's where the traffic starts getting backed up. It's usually not this bad. So let's. Oh, could you imagine having to go to a graduation? By the way, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, I make content daily about Philadelphia. I cover a lot of Philadelphia sports, especially the Philadelphia Phillies, and I cover Philadelphia news, and I talk about the history of Philadelphia. Uh, this is one of my favorite murals. It's an astronaut holding a sign that says, Send Pierogi. This is one of the bus depots in Philadelphia. This bus has the uh, 60, the 73, and the 15. This is where their uh, end of the line is. Um, I talked to the bus driver who drives the 73, and he said the bus route, which usually takes 20 minutes, now takes an hour. Yeah, so right after Bonks Bar, when you get to Richmond Street, this is where the traffic starts. I'm trying to think of a way to escape it, and I don't think there is. Um, if you make a right on Butler and get to Aramingo Avenue, you're not going to move. So both ways in the Bridesburg are, are this. You can't go nowhere. See, that backs up the thing, too. All the people, you got the turns. You got to make that turn. That's a tough turn. See, this guy, he tried to make the turn. It didn't go well. Oh, it was backed up. No, yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. Thank you. You're very kind. And you notice there's only one car here, so that probably means the other car took off. You get one accident with a tractor trailer right here. Blocks both lanes. 
and you lose this artery and you're just stuck with Aramingo Avenue? Oh boy. Nope, none of that for me, please. So now he's gonna have to make a turn. Oh. And this is Orthodox Street in Bridesburg. And it's backed up. It's not. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Here we are. So a neighbor in this area just told me sometimes the traffic on Orthodox Street can go all the way back. all the way back to where the street ends, which is Delaware Ave. And that's, there's no escaping the traffic. It will get you. There is no shortcut. There is no cut around. We are doomed. Well, Hopefully it'll be better tomorrow.